Hello and welcome to Fit by List. My name is Alyssa and I'm a certified personal trainer. And this is a seven minute standing stretch. Now it's total body relaxation and you don't even have to get down on the floor. Now you don't need anything for this. I will say though, if you have some issues with balance, maybe be close to a wall or a chair. That's something that you could grab onto just if you get a little bit wobbly. So if you're ready, let's go right ahead and get into it. We're gonna get started with just one big breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Perfect, reach those arms up one more time. You're gonna lengthen that spine reaching up and you're gonna stretch over to your right side. Taking nice full breaths. From here, you're gonna pivot over to the right side and fold it all the way down, getting that stretch in through that side of that back a little bit. Maybe even up in that lat, depending on how tight your arms are, your shoulders are. Make sure you're taking nice full breaths. You want that oxygen flowing through the body. You're gonna walk those hands to the center and stand it on up, rolling those shoulders back. Once again, reaching those arms up nice and high. Lengthening that spine, stretch it over to your left side, getting that stretch through that side body. And pivoting over to that side, hinging it all the way down. Getting that stretch, you may feel it in the back of those calves even. Just that entire posterior chain of the body, the back of the body. Once again, walking those hands to the center. You're gonna stand it on up, rolling those shoulders back, and we're gonna go ahead and work into that neck. Now we're just gonna do some lower circles. So just semi-circles here from one side to the other. Maybe close those eyes down. Lower those shoulders away from the ears to make sure you're getting that nice stretch through the sides of the neck. Maybe a couple more here. We won't stay at each stretch too long, just because we only got seven minutes. All right, you're busy, you've got places to go, things to do, right? Sometimes it's good to just get your stretch done quickly, perfect. One more, and neck back to neutral. You're gonna roll those shoulders back a couple times. Before crossing one arm over. Again, nice full breaths. Lower that shoulder away from the ears. Go ahead, switch sides here. Make sure you're standing up nice and tall. working on that good posture. Perfect, release that down. We're gonna move into some circles with those hips. So a little bit of a dynamic stretch here, rather than those static stretches that we've been doing. So getting that movement in, full range of motion. I love doing this one when I get up in the morning, right, just really loosening those hips up. Go ahead, switch directions, getting that full range of motion once again. Beautiful, you guys. Go ahead, give me one final one and then we're gonna move down to stretching out those legs. Perfect, last one, stand it on up. You're gonna start with that right leg. You're gonna step it forwards with your toes pointing up, with your left leg, you're gonna bend that knee and hinge slightly forward. You'll get that stretch to the back of that right leg. This is one of those stretches where it might be helpful to have the wall next to you, something that you can grab onto, or even a chair. Or if you wanna work that balance, don't grab onto anything. Stand it on up with that same leg. You step forward, you're gonna reach back, 
grab onto it. Again, this one challenges that balance a little bit, but we want to stretch out that quad. Now, if you want that stretch more through the thigh, what you can do is you can uh, relax your glute muscle, but if you want a little bit more of a stretch through that hip flexor, a little bit up towards the abdomen, you squeeze that glute on that same side, and you'll notice that stretch goes into a different part of that leg. Perfect, one more big breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, release it over to that second side. So you're gonna step forwards with that left leg, toes pointing up, hinge it back. Core is engaged, you wanna keep that back flat. You don't wanna be kind of hunching over into it, right, because we wanna get that stretch in through the leg. If you want it a little bit more in the back, you can kind of add that hair, that punch a little bit. It's kind of up to you, right? When you're holding these stretches, you can always move around a little bit, see what feels best for you. Beautiful, stand it on up, over to that quad stretch. We are almost done. One more big breath in through the nose and out to the mouth. Nicely done. Thanks for joining me for this seven minute standing stretching routine. If you liked it, please make sure to leave me a thumbs up and maybe even comment something down below. You can also subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this one and maybe even turn on your post notifications so you'll get notified every time I post. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.